Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to discuss the operation of a NAND gate. In our past lectures, we discussed and even introduced into details the operation of logic gates. And this particular video, we are going to discuss the incorporation of many circuits to form an integrated circuit and which works on a NAND gate logic. So, we are going to use the IC NAND gate 74SL00. This is a quad NAND gate or quad wrapper or quad 2 input NAND gate in a way that it is formed out of four different NAND gates and each of the four different NAND gates have got has got two inputs. So we are going to first of all verify the output of a NAND gate using a truth table. Then later on we run this or do a simulation of this logic circuit in Marxism. So first of all a NAND gate is an AND gate whose output has been negated meaning you get the output of an AND gate, you pass it through a NOT gate. There you have gotten an AND gate. So, when you have one of the inputs being low, you will always have the output being high. That's the NAND gate. And when all the inputs are high, you have a low output. Let's write our go to Marxism and look for a way we can simulate this circuit or we can implement this logic gate. Let's write our go to the components, basic components, and then let's check in the transistor transistor 7LSIC and we look for the 74LS00, which is the NAND gate that we are looking for. So let us pick this one. And first drop it in our workspace. Then we need to get a switch. So since T accepts two inputs, then we are going to use two switches. So let's look for the basic components. We pick a switch and we are going to choose a single for single throw switch. Then we also need to look for the power source. The voltage source we are going to use. Uh, let's take uh, VCC. So we are going to take VCC and then we know also this IC requires a power supply of 5 volts. So we also need an indicator. Which indicator we are going to use a bar of 4 voltage, uh, then 0 0.5 watts. So let's pick this indicator of ours. And then we shall need to look for the ground. So we can pick the ground from sources. Because it is going to be a normal practice or a good practice for you to connect, for example, this bar to the ground. So now we have our input from the battery source or the power source via the switches to the integrated circuit. So now one of our input is going to go to 1A. Another input is going to go to 1B. You can check it from here. This is 1, 2. So this is A, this is B. So one input comes to 1, another input comes to 2, and the output is picked from 3. So let's go and go to pin 3 and pick our output. So the output is picked from Y. So this output is going to our battery source. I mean our 
indicator which is a bulb okay so this bulb is going to be connected to the ground remember also this integrated circuit is also connected to the ground from its pin number seven then this pin number 14 is also connected to the power supply so now remember we said this is a NAND gate so let us run this circuit and see if all the inputs are low we are going to see what our output is going to be okay so our output is high which is in agreement with our truth table with all our inputs being low the output is high wow now what if one of the inputs is high and the other our input is low so still we have a high at the output what if this input is high and the other one is low we have a high output what if all these inputs are high the output is going to be low which is in agreement with this truth table so in this video we have demonstrated the operation of this integrated circuit 74 rs 00 which is a NAND gate thank you